Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to Extraordinary Adventures. I'm Laura, and that's... Scott. And we are in Barcelona today. Bienvenido we, a Barcelona. Yes. Except that's Spanish and they speak... Catalan. So I'm useless with my Spanish. <laughs> Um, we are coming to you with a 10-part series. Uh, we are going to go over each and every stop that we made along the way and tell you what we did uh, so you know whether you want to do it too um, or, or if you want to do something else. Hey everybody, this is Laura and Scott from Extraordinary hey Adventures Cruise and Travel and we are interrupting the video you are currently watching to let you know that not only do we create videos like this, we are also cruise travel agents. Yes we are. So if you are looking to book a cruise, we would love to help you. Reach us at any of the information below. Call us, email us, check us out on the web, Instagram, yeah. you name it, we're there. <laughs> We'd love to help you plan your next Extraordinary, extraordinary Adventure. adventure. Hey, hey everybody. everybody! We're getting good at that. <laughs> uh, okay, so the next port that we were in on our cruise was Palma de Mallorca. Um, and we decided to go to a town, instead of going to Palma de Mallorca, we had decided, uh, we booked a shore excursion uh, through Royal Caribbean to go to Vaidemosa, um, which was, I looked it up, and it's a beautiful, beautiful town uh it, chopin went there uh to try to get uh, healed from his tuberculosis and uh, it was just it, it was a very pretty town it was a lovely day and we lovely day does that sound like a sarcastic thing? it was it, it was a, it had amazing views yes uh, and we have a youtube short so you can take a look around it's a short means it's one minute or less you want to see what vitamosa is go to our shorts and you might even be able to put a link i don't know yeah i probably can which side yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, it's, it's a beautiful town. If you want to see a beautiful town, then um, go there. Yeah, and it, have a coffee or have a wine. Have their local pastry, which was the coco de patata. Coco de patata. Which was which, fine. Yeah. Nothing to write home yeah. about. Um, Not like the stuff we had at Andrea Panza. And, oh, that's so true. That's so good. Uh, Syracuse? Uh, no, I'm off. No, I'm off. My um, recommendation for this day would potentially be to skip Valdemosa or Vidamosa, depending on how you want to pronounce it, and then um, just spend your day in Palma de Mallorca. Uh, take a tour, uh, because we always do recommend tours uh, so that you get context from the tour guides. Otherwise, you don't know what you're looking at. Um, I would recommend doing that and then maybe finish the, the day with a nice meal. Um, the one thing that I want to mention about Palma de Mallorca mm -hmm. is um, either take an excursion through Royal Caribbean like I've already mentioned or take a taxi back to the port. <laughs> we were the almost pier runners that day. Oh, that was Palma Day? Yes, that was Palma Day. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's the very... first time in 2025 cruises that we've taken that we were that close. We were that close. We're always an hour, hour and a half. Though. It's very, the, the, the ship itself, and that's for almost all of these ports, um, the ship itself is really, really far away from the actual town. Uh, and the walk, if you're walking briskly, is about a 45 minute walk. If you're going in the right direction. If you're going in the right direction, which I was not going in the right direction. I was looking at Google Maps. I'm it's like, very confusing right because, because- She's not going the right way. She's following those people. I, I was following, those following people. people. Okay, well, I can't leave my wife in Palma, so I'll put Google Maps <laughs> away and we get lost together. Because we should be going that way, but whatever. Turns uh, out we should be going that way. We should have been going the other way. Um, so <laughs> that's not where it ends. No, There's more to the so story. we were looking. We saw the. Sh you can see the ship, and it looks like it's on one side, but the port. It, it's weird. So it, it turns out You're not you to have go to go way, this water. way Come to go around. And um, so we walked for about fifteen minutes before we realized. We were not going in the right direction, and by that point, we were not going to make it back on the ship. We, we left. completely bailed on those people she was following, yeah. which we were getting friendly, but you know what? I got to get on the ship. Yeah. So, bye. So, we we did. We missed. We, we ended up circling right back to where we came from, where yeah. we started, and then we jumped in a camp. We realized we were not going to make it back. It, if it's normally a 45 minute walk, like, and, and then, so we, we flagged a cab down, and, and... You would think a local would know where he was going. The cab driver got lost. Took us to the wrong pier. 
like yeah. military type thing and we were scared and he <laughs> even he was a little nervous he's like trying to three-point turn and get the hell out of <laughs> the there. guard was yelling at him yeah, and yeah, we were yeah, like not good. And eventually uh, he got us there yeah. with 12 minutes to spare <laughs> yeah <laughs> scared as hell. yeah we running through the port yeah there was like nobody left to get on but us yeah. and a handful of other schmoes that did the same mistake yeah so Please allow, if you're not, so the great thing about Royal Caribbean shore excursions or any cruise line shore excursion is that um, if for some reason your entire shore excursion group is late getting back to the ship, they'll hold the ship. Four hours late. They'll still hold the they'll ship. They'll still hold the ship. That's their guaranteed promise. Um, but if you're on your own. But if you're on your own. And you're one minute late and they've already pulled up the thing. Toodles. See ya. See ya at the next port. See ya at the next port. Um, so. Rarely happens to people who are diligent. Once right. in a while, as you just heard, 2025 cruises, it happened to people who are diligent. Right. It does happen. It happens. But it's very rare. We so. The problem was that we had taken a shore excursion through Royal Caribbean, so we didn't see the port and where to enter it um, in the morning because the bus just whisked us away. And then it dropped us off in Palma de Mallorca for us to walk around and explore. Which you could have taken the bus back. They gave you two options. They said, if you like to get off here, get off here and check out the town. We had a There's couple a hours. Church, and we're yeah. like, yeah, let's go check this place out. Or you could have taken you right back and gone to the ship early. But you missed Palma de, de Mallorca. Right. Make no sense. But we didn't know where we were going. No. Because we had taken a bus. So... Anyway, take take a like taxi. Half about the town and half about our... I know. Our little adventure. Well, it's a learning experience. So my... Uh, again... Go to Palma de Mallorca, don't go to Valdemosa, and either take an excursion with a tour guide through Royal Caribbean, or... Um, they had buses that took you to the... They had, yeah, they had and, shuttles. And then in that case, maybe just take a cab, 5 or $10. Don't yeah. try to do it yourself. Don't try to do it yourself. Very, very challenging no. on the port to do it. No. Okay, well, that's... That's Palma. Palma. Bye, guys. Ciao for now.